Hello and welcome everybody. Marcus Small here from the smallman.com. This is the second part in our series of how to filter data using VBA. This time around, what we're going to filter with is using the AND and the OR options in VBA. So we've got this channel here. And what we're going to do is we're going to filter whether the data has online or mail in the channel. So we're going to leave out our store information and we're going to put the information into our output sheet. Now, let's go and have a look at what the mic code might look like. So we'll press Alt F11 and I've got a module called module filter. Okay, so we'll use that as our baseline. We'll say sub filter me. Yeah. All right, good stuff. All right, so we need a couple of variables. So we're going to dim a sheet as a worksheet. And then we're going to dim a range as a range, RNG as a range. All right, All right so that's a setup. <clears throat> now, just going back into Excel, what we want to try and do is filter the column that's specific to what we want to move. So we want to move column G, so that's specific. So we'll put our range based on column G. So we'll go back into VBA and we'll say we want to set our range equal to and then that's going to be range. Now I said column G so it's G1 to comma and now we just got to trap the bottom of that range. So square bracket G1 O four eight five seven six dot end Excel up and that's our range. That's our dynamic range. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, good stuff. So uh, I'll set our sheet as our output sheet. Uh, maybe I'll set it as the input sheet. And if I'm going to set it, I might set it ahead of that. So I'll just go set sh equal to. Um, that's our filter sheet so it's sheet one and then we'll say that is the filter sheet nice okay and then once we've done that we can say sh dot range and sh there and now it's fully flexible we can run it in every sheet in the workbook all right <clears throat> all right so all right so what we want to do is filter the data by and we'll just go back into excel We want to filter it by either of these two columns. Well, no, the single column, but these criteria. Yeah, we could change the criteria. We could change it to store, whatever, but we'll just leave it for now if it, it gives us the option. Yeah, so online and mail. Yeah, all right. So in VBA, we'll set that range. So we'll say we want, or the range is already set. So we will say R, RNG. Dot auto filter. Ooh, filter. Yep. And then it's the column that we want to filter, and I'm only using one column. I'm using column G. So it's one, and then it's a comma, and then where's the criteria? Well, if we go back into, into Excel, we can see the criteria is in O2 and O3. So O2 is the first part of the equation. So it's sh dot square bracket O. Control Z, Control Z, square bracket, I pressed A instead of O, O2. All right, that's our first part. Now we type a comma, and this is interesting. So this goes right over the top of this list. So what I usually do is just click into the list or press tab, and you see you've got Excel and you've got all the options coming through here. What I want is OR. So you go down to OR, press the space bar, and then we type a comma and then we are it asks us for criteria too, yeah? IntelliSense really helps us out here. It tells us, okay, what you need to do for each step, particularly if you're unfamiliar with it, yeah? So I'm just gonna copy this part of the equation and then paste and then O2 becomes O3, yeah? All right, good stuff. So that will filter the range by the criteria in O2 or the criteria in O3. Now, once that's, that range is fil filtered, what we want to do is we want to take all the data apart from the first row, copy it, 
and then put it in the first available cell, which is A2, in the output sheet, which is sheet 2. So we say uh, square bracket A2, or we could say A1. A1. It, do it doesn't really matter. We're just going to trap the current region. Dot current region. Yeah. Uh, and then we want to offset one row, yeah? Offset one row, and then we want to dot copy, yeah? All right, so that, I'll just go on to the next line. Good stuff. That looks all good. We've copied the data, and then we'll square bracket. Uh, actually, we'll refer to the sheet. So it's sheet two. So I look over here. I know it's sheet two because it says sheet two output. Sheet two is the worksheet code name. You'll hear me bang on about that a lot. We want to use that at all times if we're going to refer to the sheet uh, the worksheet worksheet code name, yeah? So sheet two, square bracket, A2. All right, good stuff. Nice one. All right, so that's got that all tickety-boo. Um, now, we want to leave no trace that we were there. So we just go... Uh, we want to invoke the uh, filter mode, yeah? So we say sh.auto filter mode, yeah? equals false. Nice. Okay. So that turns the filters off. Now, you can get an error when you run this sort of code if I'll go back into Excel, if there are if there are filters like that, this particular code will fail, yeah? So what you want to do is you want to take those filters off at the start, yeah? You want to take them off at the start and at the end, yeah? So that line's useful. So we'll take it, copy it, and drop it at the top of the code piece, yeah? So we turn the filters off. We actually filter the rows that we want filtered. We transport those rows over to sheet two. And then finally, we turn off the filters. I just noticed <coughs> a little issue. <coughs> It'll work, pardon me, on those sheets, but I need to refer to the, to the sheet one code name in order for it to be flexible enough to work on any sheet, yeah? So that's all tickety-boo. So that looks that looks and feels the part. I think if I was to run this with different criteria, just I'm trying to think ahead, uh, going back into the, the sheet, if I put the data into this sheet, what I want to do is I want to clear this range before I run the macro, yeah? So we'll go in and put that line in as well. So we'll say, before the code actually happens, we could say there or here, so we'll just go sheet two dot, and then we wanna pick a cell, so a one dot current region, region uh, dot clear contents. Yeah, all right, good stuff. All right, so that's actually all good, that looks about right. I'll just clean it up a little bit. Yep, okay, so basically I'll just minimize the screen so we can see what's happening um, in front of our eyes, yeah? So, just minimize it. All right, good stuff. And then I'll just put it down a bit. All right, so we'll kick the, we'll kick the code off and we'll press F8, all right? And then F8, F8, this is just set up. And then the auto filter mode off, so the filters should go off. They're off. Now we'll go into sheet two, clear the contents. Ah, here we go, current region. That will clear the headers. So I'll just go dot offset one comma zero spot. Now that clears the headers. That won't clear the headers because it'll offset by one row. Lucky I noticed that. Uh, and then I'll press F8. Good stuff. So the data's all clear in the other sheet. Now we want to see the filter be invoked in this channel sheet. So it should just be online and mail. So we'll press F8, and there we go, online mail. The filter, you can have a look, it stores missing, which is great. And then bring the VBA back up. And then we want to copy the data, the data that's in here, less the headings. So F8, and then turn the filter mode, which is just here off, yeah? All right, so then when we go into the output sheet, the only data that should be in this sheet should be mail and online. And how many rows do we get? So there's a total of 907, 
And then if we look at our normal data set, you'll see that it's 1316. So it has taken a subset of that data and taken it from the filter sheet and put it in the output sheet. So that's how you do it from a, from a fairly rudimentary sort of standpoint. Now, I thought what I might show you is that that's using the OR statement. I thought we might use the AND statement as well. So why don't we just save ourselves a lot of time, copy that procedure, and then drop it below. Change the name to so it's different. So I'm just going to call it filter me one. Now what we'll do is we'll invoke column B. Yeah, so I'll just minimize this. In column B, we've got a date key. So I'll just give this a nice color, something a little different. Okay, so this is going to be the the cell of focus and then on the list sheet what I've done is I've set up a start date and an end date so we want to filter all the dates between the 1st of January 19 and the 31st of January 2019 yeah which is a subset of this data set yeah all right so uh, we know the code is working really really nicely until that point all we have to do is change a couple of things for this second procedure g1 becomes b1 and G becomes B and then what we have to do is we have to ch or firstly I think we'll invoke a couple of variables so we'll dim uh, our start date as a long integer and we'll dim our E and D date as a long integer yeah and these two long integers are going to be so the start date is going to be equal to, ah, let's have a look at where it actually is in the, so that's F2 and that's G2. All right, good stuff. Let's push that information in. So it is firstly the sheet name and have a look, it's sheet three. So it's sheet three dot square bracket F2, yeah. And then let's copy all that and change what needs to be changed. So that becomes the end date and then F becomes G. So F2 and G2 is the start and the end date. So then we take our start date and that becomes our first criteria. I might buy some real estate. Let's go up. And, uh, that becomes our first criteria in here. Our end date becomes our second criteria here. So we're just re replacing the two criteria. The XL or becomes XL and, and then there's one last thing that we have to do. In here, what we need to do is we need to say whether it's greater than, so open bracket, greater than or equal to, close quotation mark, and then ampersand, yeah? So that's complete. So let's copy that. It's greater than or equal to the start date and let's just paste it here change the greater than sign to a less than sign and there we go there we got the start date and the end date all very good so we've had to do very little work after the first procedure to get it so it is now capable of working on a completely different column between two different criteria and this is a classic case of where you use an and statement between two specific dates and the trick is to dim them as long integers yeah because dates are effectively just numbers so let's minimize this code and see if we can't watch what's going on again yeah all right so we'll alt f11 okay bring it up it's a little bit longer than the last one but we should be able to see what's going on yeah all right <clears throat> so we'll press f8 now well, let's have a look at this data in here yes this is a full data set control home and we're using it this is about 900 rows yeah so there should be significantly less after we've run this procedure yeah so we'll press f8 to kick it off oh break point no i pressed f9 <laughs> so let's go with f8 okay now it started the procedure it's uh, invoke those variables yeah so you can have a look at the locals window if you want as it's as it's sort of going so you go view locals window and you can see that the, um, you'll, uh, well, here we go, the start date and the end date, they're specific dates, yeah? Remember I said dates are just numbers in disguise, yeah? So we'll press F8. <clears throat> I might just minimize this now so we can see what's going on. And then F8, and now we're, now we're coming into the part where it will actually start to do things, okay? So it's going to clear the region of the output sheet. So you see it's cleared, which is nice. 
and now I'll we'll bring back the VBA. And now what it's going to do is going to filter that column by the dates in between the 1st of January and the 31st of December. Yeah, so I'll press F8. You can see that they're just 2019 dates at the moment. And then it's going to, we know that the copy function works. So I'll press F8, auto filter off, gone, out of the code, go back into the output sheet, check the dates in this cell. They're only 2019. All of the information has gone in really, really nicely. So <coughs> there we go, peeps. You can pick the file up on my website and go through the procedure yourself. Remember, practice makes absolutely perfect. And have a fantastic day. All right, we'll see you next time.